A medical transport driver accused now of driving under the influence causing a crash last weekend that killed a 77-year-old woman appeared in court today. The 25-year-old is facing several charges, including DUI resulting in death. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones is live at Kent County Courthouse with what happened today. Chelsea? Dowda Elagushi was driving for Assured Transportation, which is a subcontractor of MTM at the time of the crash, but the company says he was not credentialed nor qualified to be driving at all. Dowda Elagushi in court Wednesday, facing charges after driving under the influence while transporting a 77 year old woman from dialysis, according to police. That woman died days later. According to prosecutors, Elagushi is a Nigerian citizen who doesn't have a valid license. This defendant, we understand, uh, while he arrived in the country legally, I believe overstayed his legal authority to be here. Police say on November 27th, Elagushi collided with another vehicle at the intersection of Main Street and Abbott's Crossing Road. All four people involved were taken to the hospital with injuries. In court, Elagushi's lawyer painted the picture that he has roots to the community. He's currently engaged in CCRI. He's been there for about a year. Um, he's engaged in the CMS church in Providence. But this crash happening on MTM's watch is something House Oversight Committee Chair Patricia Serpa says is grounds for termination of their contract. I, I say cut them loose. And if we have to pay some kind of a severance fee or a fine for breaking the con contract with them, I think Rhode Islanders will be okay with that. MTM, the state's medical transportation company, has no fleet of their own, which is why they use subcontractors like Assured Transportation. That contract has since ended. As for Elagushi, he's been ordered not to drive or leave the state without permission because he's considered a flight risk. His bail was set at $20,000. Now, the governor's office has ordered all subcontractors of MTM to uh, complete audits to make sure that they're in full compliance by Friday. We've also reached out to families involved in this crash. We did get in contact with one of them who said they cannot speak at this time. And Chelsea, no secret, MTM has had numerous issues in the past, which is why people like Patricia Serpa have been very vocal about this company and this particular incident. Can you remind us what some of those issues were? So in 2019, the company was fined a million dollars for being late picking up patients or not showing up at all. And then Target 12 later that year uh, got a picture of a child that was sitting on the floor of one of the transport vehicles. And it's also important to note that the people that use MTM are low income and elderly people that qualify. So they really rely on these services. Chelsea Jones, live for us tonight. Thanks so much. The alleged medical driver in a crash that killed a 77-year-old passenger faced a judge this morning in court. He was transporting that woman from a dialysis appointment as a subcontractor of MTM, the state's non-emergency medical transportation provider. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones joins us now live from Kent County Courthouse with a breakdown of the charges and how the chair of the House Oversight Committee is reacting tonight. Chelsea? So Patricia Serpa says it's time to cut MTM loose. They're a subcontractor of, M or they use subcontractors, I should say, to transport patients, but they've had a history of issues. Why continue to engage them and have another death? This one death is, is one too many. 25-year-old Dauda Elagushi was transporting a dialysis patient on November 27th when he collided with another car, sending all four people involved to the hospital. His passenger, a 77-year-old woman, later died. Elagushi is facing several charges, including driving under the influence, resulting in death. He's currently engaged in CCRI. He's been there for about a year. Um, He's engaged in the CMS church in Providence. Prosecutors say Elagushi is a Nigerian citizen currently staying in the U.S. on an expired visa. He was driving for Assured Transportation, a subcontractor of MTM, at the time of the crash. MTM's contract with Assured has since been terminated. Serpa says because of this accident, she has legal counsel taking a look at other state contracts. Kind of look at the more expensive contracts, look for loopholes, see what's been done with them see if the recommendations were implemented because it's it's my fear we pay hundreds of thousands and in some cases millions of dollars for, for these outside contractors. In 2019, MTM was fined $1 million because they were late picking up patients or not showing up at all. 
That same year, Target 12 obtained a picture of a child riding on the floor of one of the transport vehicles. So the governor's office has ordered audits for all subcontractors of MTM to be done by Friday to ensure they're in full compliance. Elagushi has been ordered not to leave the state or drive without permission because he is considered a flight risk. His bail was set at $20,000. Live in Warwick, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.